Well, we are on our flight, getting ready to fly to Frankfurt. We had intended to do more videos today, but everything has gone way smooth. We've uh, no lines and hardly any waits between flights, and now on this flight we have tons of room, and there's not a lot of people here, and there's a whole empty seat over there. And everything has gone really, really well. So uh, it's been a good travel day so far. We have about eight hours till Frankfurt, and then we have to sit for four hours before we fly on to Ukraine, and then fly over to Kharkov after we get to the capital in Ukraine. So that's what's going on. Things are going really well, and that's all. How are you doing? I'm good. And I got my last Starbucks before we got on the plane, so I'm happy and glad to be here. So. We just arrived. Um, it's 5.45 a.m. Frankfurt time, but it's really 10.45 p.m. our time. So it's time for bed. We would like to sleep now. We didn't sleep much on the plane at all. So anyway, glad to be here. <laughs> We left the house 22 hours and 32 minutes ago, and we're almost there. Two plus more hours, I think, till we'll be there. That's exciting. Frankfurt. Um, okay, well, we went to our gate and we changed our clothes and freshened up a little. No, no, that's wrong. Wrong order. We, I'm tired, <laughs> went to our gate and laid down for a while, slept for maybe an hour, and then got up and went to the restroom to change our clothes and freshen up, and um, got something to eat, and then our plane boarded. So. And how was coming into <laughs> Kiev? It looks really cold out there. Uh, it is really cold, but we have our Under Armour on and our big down coats, so I was like burning up. <clears throat> but uh, it's nice. We were here. It took forever to get through immigration. We were in the slowest line, and a woman was arrested as, <laughs> as we were standing in line. It was quite a scene. Um, and now what are we doing? Well, we're sitting here waiting to board the plane for Kharkov and all of our bags are here with us, so that's yes. good. We don't, we don't know what's in our bags, we haven't looked through them, but we are on our way, almost there. We were supposed to our tickets weren't checked all the way through to Kharkov, so we had to pick up our bags and then recheck them for this domestic flight, and we expected to have to pay um, over the allowed baggage weight and things. And the lady had me put both my bags up on the scale, but one was a huge duffel bag and half of it was hanging off, and she said that was fine, so she just weighed one and a half of my bags and decided that that was okay, an okay limit. She asked where I was from, I said Oklahoma in the United States, and she asked her partner like if that was an okay amount of weight, and they decided it was, and so we didn't have to pay anything. And they did the same with Katie. So not only did they weigh it incorrectly, we got to do it for free anyway, so that was pretty funny. And I went and bought a bottle of water, tried to speak some Russian, and that was very difficult. It was in there. I just didn't want to come out of here, and uh, and I was quickly reminded of how it feels to be the foreigner again. No, you guys. 
too. There's the stuff.